Ever gotten into an argument on site about which tool belongs to who? Well, I'll show you a great way to avoid that. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DP Shop Talk. Now today I'm going to be showing you a quick shop tip on how to engrave your tools in a way that's both permanent and very professional looking. Now, I don't know about you, but my handwriting is a mess, so to freehand engrave or even write on a tool, it just doesn't look neat and tidy. So I came across a method a while back on the internet, I can't remember where I read it now, uh, but basically you use labels. So I've picked a font that I like and that works well with kind of the flow of, of the engraver and printed off three different size fonts. Uh, so it just depends on, on the size of the tool that you're uh, marking as to how much space you have. So I'll slice it and peel off just one label and then you just put it on the tool wherever works best, wherever you have a nice flat surface. And it's just a basic Dremel engraver that I use with, uh, with a standard engraving tip on it. Um, they're very inexpensive to buy and, and they work well. So I'll show you how that process works. So the engraver works just like a, a pencil or a pen would. Uh, so you just kind of grip it down close to the end there. And uh, so we'll turn it on and give it a whirl. So once you've uh, engraved the whole thing, it's just a matter of peeling the label off. And depending on which, uh, which letters you have on there, sometimes you get the centerpiece still sticking. And I find, especially on darker plastic, if you take your finger and rub it over the, a bit, it will help the letters to kind of stand out a little better. So as you can see, it's nice and neat and tidy, very consistent, and uh, it kind of matches from, from tool to tool since you have the same sizes and the same font printed out. So it looks really professional. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy and quick process and it really looks good. I've had a lot of comments on, uh, on the engraving uh, that people have noticed when I'm on site with my tools and uh, just kind of saying how professional it looks. And I've had a few instances so far where there's been two identical tools, uh, one belonging to me, one belonging to, uh, to another tradesperson on site. And uh, so it makes it really quick and easy to identify it. If I didn't have that engraving on there, then there's really no way to know for sure uh, which one belongs to who. So it uh, is really effective uh, as well if, if uh, you happen to have a tool theft, then a little bit better chances of, of hopefully getting the tools recovered if you have your name marked on there permanently and hopefully maybe deter uh, somebody from stealing it in the first place. So I hope you found that tip helpful. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave some comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.